Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you are someone who enjoys talking about film, how about clicking that subscribe button? So today we're talking about episode 7 of The Boys called Butcher, Baker, Candlestick Maker. off with a lamp lighter as we saw from the last episode basically he got captured by the boys and grace came along and kind of took him into custody trying to get him to actually talk uh, to congress about everything that's going on with compound b and the whole organization that that is vault little do we know that lamp lighter actually has other plans in mind so while everybody was kind of going on their separate ways but you're going to see the dad mother's milk and grace went to go find uh the doctor dr jonah uh, to go and get him to talk to Congress because they know that they need somebody else besides Lamplighter to go in front and, you know, tell their story of what is really going behind, uh, you know, closed doors. So somebody needed to be left behind to babysit Lamplighter and that somebody was Huey because, you know, he is still hurt from what happened in the last episode. So it's a very interesting scene where they're just there kind of watching porn. Obviously, Lamplighter wants to watch it. Huey's just kind of like, okay, we're going to change this. Lamp lighters all like you change it, I'm gonna burn your hand off. Let's get it to a point when Huey's just had enough, switches the news, and we find out that Starlight has been captured. So we'll kind of circle back to this little story and let's go over here to Starlight real quick. Starlight goes to a diner to go meet her mom. Of course, Starlight is still very upset with the mom from last season, where no, from this season. This season's where we find out no last season. <laughs> I'm so confused on where we're at. Basically, she's still upset because you know the mom basically volunteered um Annie to get compound V injected and you know that's how she became a superhero. So mom of course is trying to you know fix the relationship and it's all like let's go somewhere out. It's okay, I've already cleared it with Ashley. We're good. She gets all like panicking, what do you mean? You told them where we're at, oh my god, you know, they're gonna follow you, they're gonna know, and next thing you know, we see like this gas deal come through the window everybody besides of course um annie pass out and enter black noir and they kind of have a little fight going on well not really like a huge fight black noir basically you know like knocks her out and hence she gets captured so we're back to huey and lamplighter of course huey is all like we gotta go we gotta go save her and lamplighter's all like you know she's probably in so and so and huey's all like look we gotta get in there we find, find a way you know you live there you should know and she, she's all like yeah I, I have a secret way so off they go to ball and he goes through his little secret entrance which is how he used to apparently sneak in these college uh girls and what did you know his little handprint is still active within the building huey is actually trying to save annie and life lighter has a whole other thing going he's looking for his statue because he had some plans that he wanted to do in front of his statue and then something happened that i was not expecting this motherfucker like lights himself on fire. Midst of all that, Annie was able to escape her cell, which is like a holding cell that is kind of like power proof. So when the fire happened in the uh, fire lights, whatever were happening, like the warning signs, she was able to take that power and that's why she was able to blast the doors off and you know, off to her escape. Huey was of course trying to go and find Annie, but actually end up finding the mom so they did have the mom as well and let's jump over to homelander and stormfront they are now like official to the public um they are um at a rally and how they need more soups uh, to be able to fight the soup terrorists and so there's like this whole thing going on there homelander took this opportunity to actually introduce stormfront to um ryan to homelander just basically influenced ryan and showed him the outside world because because Rebecca just really had him in hiding which was wrong in Rebecca's part as well like she shouldn't have guarded him as she was but again I understand it because he is also a soup a kid soup and doesn't have a big handle on his powers but then it's kind of like you're not letting him use his powers you're not letting him be able to experiment and really be able to handle the powers properly because then if you wait for him to be a teenager or adult that can be very very dangerous so then i also kind of agree with homelander because he's like look you're doing the same thing that they did to me it's gonna come out bad you know when i saw the outside world it really affected me let's jump over to queen may very quickly of course from the last episode was it the last episode or the one before that 
I don't know which what whichever one it was when Elena saw the video of Queen Maeve and Homelander, you know, letting the plane crash. Obviously, that's been messing with her and was like, look, I, I really can't do this with you anymore. Then uh, Ashley ends up coming into Maeve's apartment and finds her in bed with the man. And of course, she's all like, what? No, 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 no. You can't be having this. Like, you're supposed to be gay. You know, we did a whole like thing around you being like this perfect couple and being gay and it's like you know you need to correct this kind of deal maybe it's like can you be like a human for once in your life nothing like huge happened with queen Maeve. she does um come out later on in the episode as well we'll get to that um in a bit wait did i miss that part i did miss that part actually <laughs> i did i totally missed that part i'm so sorry wait did i yeah, that's when that happened, right? And he was actually escaping um, in the midst of, you know, her getting out. Black Noir did uh, find her and then they started having a fight. So Black Noir actually was choking her. Maeve comes around, <laughs> takes part of the mask off. I feed some an almond joy, you guys. An almond joy was so funny. Like, shoves it down his throat. Apparently, Black Noir has a nut allergy. She was able to officially, like, escape and, and get off of his grasp. And he's just kind of, like, just there. I wonder if he dies. They never really said anything, so I don't know if maybe somebody comes around and gives him like a little EpiPen shot. Or we get to the end of the episode, which is the most exciting thing that happened. Oh my God, like I loved it. So they were at the hearing. Yeah, the main guy who was doing like the interviews or the, I don't know what the hell he was, whatever. Anyway, goes. his fucking head exploded. Kind of like what happened, like I said, in the first couple episodes with um, the detective that was gonna be helping the boys when her head exploded. <laughs> out of nowhere and then the doctor's head exploded and then like everybody's fucking head exploded <laughs> in the shit like and of course because it was like a big hearing they were showing it on tv so the boys were watching it at home it's a very exciting way how they ended this episode you guys episode eight is actually the finale so i'm curious to know what exactly or who exactly is blowing their heads up i mean it was just like balloons popping like heads <laughs> it was crazy you guys but this is what happened in episode seven if you've seen episode seven what did you guys think about it let me know down below so with that said of course before you guys click on this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new till next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye